let's take a quick look at collinear points. Now, if points are collinear, so if I say A, B, and C are collinear, what that means is that those three points lie on the same straight line, and any pair of those points will have the same gradient as any other pair. So what I mean is, if I had to take the gradient of AB, so if I were, had to work out the gradient of AB, remember, small m represents gradient, little m. If I had to work out the gradient of AB, that would be equal to the gradient of BC, which would also be equal to the gradient of AC. All their gradients would be equal because they share the same straight line. They lie on the same straight line. So just as a quick recap, to calculate gradient of a line segment or a straight line, we do change in Y over change in X. The Y has to be on the top. Change means minus Y2 minus Y1 divided by X2 minus X1. The X1, the Y1, and all of that, that comes from the coordinates. So if I get a question like this, show that A, B, and C are collinear, what we have to do is we have to show that if I calculate the gradient of, let's say, A, B, that would then be equal to the gradient of, let's say, B, C. Or I could do A, C. So we have three points. If you want to draw a little picture, that may be able to assist you to visualize. So to show that they are collinear, that would mean that they lie on the same straight line. And that means if I pick any of these two and calculate the gradient of that, remember to calculate the gradient, you need two coordinates. So that's why I'm saying A and B. And then I'm going to compare that to, for example, B and C. I can pick any two combinations. So I could compare AB versus BC, or I could compare, let's say, AB versus AC, or I could compare BC versus AC. I hope you're seeing what I'm saying. I can't, for example, compare AB versus BA. That's the same thing. Okay, I've just changed the order of how I've named the points. I have to compare two different pairs to each other. So let's calculate the gradient of AB first. So the gradient of AB, remember your gradient formula, Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. Again, it doesn't matter which one you call number one and which one you call number two. Let's call A number one and B number two. So that would make this X1 and Y1, and this would make this X2 and Y2. So if I sub in, it's all about looking and subbing in carefully. Y2 would be one minus Y1, which would be negative two. Remember your brackets like that, over X2 would be one minus x1 would be 2. So what do I get there? 1 minus minus 2. So basically 1 plus 2. This turns into a plus sign. So it's 3 at the top and 1 minus 2 is negative 1 at the bottom, which gets me negative 3. I then need to compare that gradient to a gradient of another pair. So I did A and B. Let's do B and C. You could do A and C as well. I'm just going to do A and B and then B and C. Now I'm going to just switch it up. I'm going to call B coordinate number one. So that would be X1 and Y1. And C would be coordinate number two. So that would be X2 and Y2. And then we simply substitute. So X, so remember always Y is at the top. So Y2, seven, minus Y1, which is one. X2, negative one, minus X1, which is one. At the top, I have 7 minus 1, which is 6. And at the bottom, I have negative 2. Minus 1 minus 1 is negative 2. 6 divided by negative 2 is negative 3. Can you see that these gradients are the same? I only need to compare two gradients. Remember, in the beginning, I said A, B, and then you've got B, C, and you've got A, C. I just need to pick two out of these to compare. So I did this one and this one. That's enough. Because they're the same, I can therefore conclude that A, B, and C are collinear. So that is basically my statement. It's my conclusion. And what's my reason? The gradient of AB is equal to the gradient of BC, which is equal to negative three. Always give a reason at the end of the question in brackets. In the next lesson, we will do another collinear example. This one is more tricky. So I'll see you in that video. Bye everybody. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet.